Hello friends, thank you for being here with me uh, at, at whatever time it is that you're watching this. Uh, let us begin with our opening responsive reading. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. All that came to be had life in the word, and that life was the light of the world. A light that shines in the dark, a light that darkness could not overpower. A few announcements, friends. The ladies have been working uh, pretty hard, uh, should say really hard, I guess, uh, to get ready for the rummage sale. Uh, the work this week, they're going to be working a couple more times, uh, I think at least this week, and then maybe the next week too. Uh, I don't remember the dates and everything right now. I didn't write that down. Uh, but it is on the, on the uh, church out here, uh, it's in the, on the church sign out there on the corner when you go by. Please take a look at it. It'll tell you times, uh, dates and times. And also to remember that we're going to follow the, the regulations for COVID-19. You need a mask and you'll come through, uh, you'll come in the front door of the, of the church and go downstairs. And there's a certain pattern you go through, just like if you're going to a grocery store, except we're going to be stricter about it. <laughs> and and you'll get something when you come through to carry it to, to gather your things as you go it's kind of a first time if you see it and you like it grab it because it might not be there if you have to go back and come through all the everything again uh, but you'll get the message uh, just some other announcements based some some prayer concerns uh, we've had these for some for a couple of Sundays now um, but some others are, are a little more a little newer uh, we've been asked to remember Betty Emery, her brother uh, Ron Corlew recently died, uh, and also Betty's nephew and his wife who, were in, who live in Oregon and were trapped for a time by the fires, managed to escape, but their house and everything was burned up. Uh, but they are safe, and so that's a good thing. That's a blessing. Uh, some of the other concerns we've been asked to remember, Bernice Nimi, I think I pronounced that right, who's in the hospital. Also a friend of the Cleveland's, uh, Lynn, with a 90% blockage in an in a, uh, a artery to her heart, will be having heart surgery. Uh, we've been remembering Scott Johnson, Kevin's dad, uh, also uh, friends, uh, family and friends of Sandra and Arnold Brown, Michelle Brown, Greg Brown, Tom Carnava, and Becky's, Becky and Paul's friend, JC. And as we come to that time of prayer, I hope that, that uh, any of you who have other concerns We'll lift them up at that time. Let us bow our heads now in prayer. Mighty God, you have given us life and all goodness, and you bring us daily to new life in Jesus Christ. Recreate us in Christ's image and fill us anew with your spirit that we may be your new creation and bring about your purpose in this world you love. Through Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Our first hymn today is Come Holy Spirit, Heavenly Dove. It just kind of came to me this morning that we should sing this hymn. Uh, so I looked it up and, and the words are on the pay on the, the screen in front of you. Mm. Come Holy Spirit, Heavenly Dove, with all thy quickening powers, kindle a flame of sacred love in these cold hearts of ours. In vain we tune our formal songs, in vain we try to rise. Hosanna's languish on our tongues, and our devotion dies. Dear Lord, and shall we ever live at this poor dying rate? Our love so faint, so cold to Thee, and Thine to us so great. Come, Holy Spirit, heavenly Dove, with all thy quickening powers, come shed abroad a Savior's love, and that shall kindle ours. 
Our scripture reading for today is from Romans chapter 14. This is from last Sunday's, uh, an extra reading that we didn't do on last Sunday, last Sunday, uh, last Sunday's worship. Romans 14 chapter uh, verses 1 through 12. Romans 14, 1 through 12, reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge, some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God. While those, ab those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us shall be accountable to God. May the Lord add his blessing to this reading of his holy word. The meditation I have today is actually from something that came through, uh, I saw on the computer, and it's just a short one-page thing but it was so beautiful, I just loved it, and I thought, well, I'm gonna share that with you today. So, so this is it. It's entitled, Gracefully Broken. I was at Dollar Tree last night, and there was a lady and two kids behind me in the long line. One was a big kid, one was a toddler. The bigger one had a pack of glow sticks, and the baby was screaming for them, so the mom opened the pack and gave him one which stopped his tears. He walked around with it smiling, and then the bigger boy took it, and the baby started screaming again. Just as the mom was about to fuss at the older child, he bent the glow stick and hand, handed it back to the baby. As we walked outside at the same time, the baby noticed that the stick was now glowing, and his brother said, I had to break it so you could get the full effect from it. I almost ran because I could hear God saying to me, I had to break you to show you why I created you. You had to go through it so you could fulfill your purpose. That little baby was happy just swinging that unbroken glow stick around in the air because he didn't understand what it was created to do, which was glow. There are some people who will be content just being but some of us that God has chosen, we have to be broken. We have to get sick. We have to lose a job. We go through divorce. We have to suffer with the disease of addiction. We have to bury our spouse, parents, best friend, brother, sister, or our child. Because in those moments of desperation, God is breaking us. And when the breaking is done, then we will be able to see the reason for which we are created. So when you see us glowing, just know that we have been broken, but healed by his grace. Amen. Now let us bow our heads in prayer. 
O Father, calm the turbulence of our passions, quiet the throbbing of our hopes, repress the waywardness of our wills, direct the motions of our affections, and sanctify our differences. Be all in all to us, and may all things earthly, while we bend them to our growth in grace and to the work of blessing, dwell lightly in our hearts, so that we may readily or even joyfully give up whatever you ask from us. May we first seek your kingdom and righteousness, resting assured that then all things shall be added to us. Lord, we pause to, to offer prayers for those that we know in need, but also prayers for those in, with thanksgiving. Especially, Lord, we pray for Betty, for her nephew and his wife, for Bernice and Lynn, for Scott and Michelle and Greg and Tom and JC, and for those others that we lift before you this day. Father, pardon our past ingratitude and disobedience and purify us, whether by your gentler or sterner ways, till we have done your will on earth, and you take us into your presence with the redeemed in heaven. We ask all of this through you, O Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn, friend, is Go With Us, Lord, which we've been singing for a couple of weeks. Go With Us, Lord, singing it twice through, changing the words from plural where we all sing together to our individual concerns. Let's get this note there to start. Mm -hmm. Go with us, Lord, and guide the way through this and every coming day, that in your spirit, strong and true, our lives may be our gift to you. Go with me, Lord, and guide the way through this and every coming day, that in your spirit, strong and true, my life may be my gift to you. Friends, may God's peace, which is far beyond our understanding, keep us safe in union with Christ Jesus. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Go in peace, friends. Thank you for being with us.